What's happening guys, we are back for another Quick Tip Tuesday here on the channel and man am I glad to be in here filming this Quick Tip Tuesday because here in Jersey today, it's like 95 degrees outside, it's hot, it's swampy, it's disgusting, it's nasty. So, glad to be here making this video for you guys. Today we're talking about a topic that was actually a question that got asked by one of our viewers and that is what do I set my background music levels to? Want to throw some music back there? But when I put on my headphones, it sounds one way. When I play through my computer, it sounds another way. I don't know where to set it. Where do I set my levels for my background music? So that's what we're going to talk about today. If you just want the quick answer, you don't want any tips and tricks that I'm also going to give you along the way here. You might want to stay tuned. Basically, what I do is I try and set my level somewhere between minus 25 dB and minus 30 dB. Generally, that's going to be a good range for your background music to be. You don't want it to be too high and overpower your you know, vocal speaking track that you have, say you're vlogging or something. You don't want it to be too high and you don't want it to be too low. You want to hear it. So if that's all you want to know and that's what you came here for, minus 25 to minus 30 dB. We're going to get into Resolve and I'm going to just drop a clip in there and work through it, show you how I would set it. Now keep in mind, sometimes depending on the song, you may need to boost those levels up a little bit. Maybe you need to go up to, I don't know, minus 20 dB or something like that. Depends on the song, if it's a quieter song versus something that's rocking and loud and it's like So a lot of it depends on the song, but generally that minus 25 to minus 30 dB is going to do a good job for you. So as we jump into Resolve here, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can work with your background music to get it to where you want and get the right levels for you. So let's jump in Resolve, check this out. All right, so if you know me, you've been watching any of my videos, love me some headphones for working with audio. It just helps you hear it a little bit better. Now, as I did mention, Remember, you're going to hear it differently if you use headphones versus your computer speakers versus any other speakers that you might have. So this is why you want to use your meters to set your levels, whether it's, you know, your background music or any kind of audio. Use your meters. Don't just go by your ear. You want to use your ear also, but don't only use, say, headphones, for example. You want to check the meters, set it good on the meters, and then give it a listen and see how it sounds. See if it's good. You need to raise it, lower it, whatever. So here's some clips I've got in my timeline. It's just uh, me making a little public service announcement here. So my levels are set good for my audio of me talking. You always want to set your talking levels first, so that way you can work from there. So here's what I got here. We'll just play a little bit of it. So we're going to take this clip right here. We're going to throw some music behind it, a little background music. But let me just take a minute. All right, so I got my clip set there. Now I have a music clip right here and you can see music clips generally come in pretty hot, pretty loud, right? Generally, I always got to tone them back quite a bit. And most of the music that I get is from Artlist or Audio. If you're interested in either one of those, you check out the link down in the description below. Some discount codes there for you if you're looking for music, but that's up to you. So what I want to do is uh, play through this. Here's what this guy sounds like in the beginning. All right, so a little loud. So I know I'm going to want to bring that volume uh, way down and a few ways I can do it. So the first way that you can come in here and adjust the volume of your clip is to just highlight it. And if you hover over, there's a little line in here. It's kind of hard to see, uh, you know, with these colors here. But if you just click on that, when you get this little symbol, you can drag it down and you can see your dB level there, right? So a lot of times I'll bring this right down to, I don't know, say maybe 23. And then I'll just start there, play through it a little bit and see how it sounds. So let's see what we got. And I'm looking right over here at my meters so I can see where my levels are. So now you notice that uh, I set it at minus 23, but when I look at my meters, it's hovering around that minus 25 to minus 30 range, right? So that might work. So let's just take this uh, music clip here. I'm going to drag it behind me speaking. Let's play through this and just see how it sounds here. So we're going to take this clip right here. We're going to. So one thing that you notice is in the beginning of that clip there, you know, the clip didn't start right when I started talking. So let's zoom in here a little bit and line that up. I'm going to zoom in, select my clips. And I want my clip to start basically, if I back up a little here, basically where the music starts. So here we go. So let's do this. Let's see what we got. So we're going to take this clip right here. We're going to throw some music behind it, a little background music. But let me just take a minute to tell you about Buy Me A Coffee. If you enjoy this channel, you want to help support the channel, maybe head on over, buy me a coffee. Love me some good coffee. All right, that's not so bad, right? So that's one way that you can do it. You can just grab your overall volume here for the entire clip. You can drop it up or down, and that can work just fine. The other way you can do the exact same thing is if you click on your clip, you open your inspector, which is this guy right here, and then you've got your volume right here. You can grab this slider, move it up and down. If you need to get a little more exact with it, 
click on this right here. You see you got the little double arrow there. Just click and hold and you can drag it up super exact. That's a nice little feature there. So if I bring this back to that about minus 23, the real important thing though is you want to watch the meters. You want to make sure that your levels are good with the meters. So if I continue to play through, we're going to see that, like I said, right in this minus 25 to minus 30 range. Let's double check this. Also, if you're interested in merch, got a little merch down below the video here. We've got some mugs. We've got sweatshirts. We've got... So you can see it's almost right at that minus 25 range. Now, in my headphones, it sounds good. But what you want to do is get your level set based on the meter, but then try it with some headphones, unplug the headphones, try it with just your computer speakers, because it's going to sound different depending on what you're listening to it on. And sometimes even when I upload it to YouTube, I'll go on my phone and check it because I know a lot of people watch videos on their phone, right? And it's going to sound different there too. But if you use your meters and you use that as your baseline, it's going to give you a good starting point. So another way that you can work with your levels a little bit is uh, using keyframes, right? So let's say, um, you know, I wanted to move all my clips over a little bit. So I'm going to select all of them and let's just move these guys over. And so let's say I wanted the music to start loud and then I want it to drop down underneath me talking, right? So what I can do is add in some keyframes. I can uh, put a keyframe right here in order to do that. Come to your inspector and right here you've got volume. Go ahead and click on that keyframe. Now I need to move ahead or backwards a few spaces so I can add in another keyframe. Go there, add in another one. Looks like that first one didn't take, so I'm gonna come back here, just hit that again. So now I've got the ability to adjust the two parts of my clip on either side of my keyframe independently. So we got this part, so let's say I want this to be you know, a little louder, and then I'm gonna have it fade down between my keyframes so that the audio is good underneath my voice. It's not, you know, too loud. You can hear what I'm saying. So here's what that sounds like. So we're going to take this clip right here. We're going to throw some music behind it, a little background music. But So keyframes works great, but it can be a little tedious if you've got a lot of places where you need to bring that audio up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. You know, if your, you know, video, for example, has you know, B-roll put in and you're not talking and you want to bring that volume up a little bit, it gets a little, uh, a little tedious to go through and, you know, add in keyframe, move ahead a few, add another keyframe, you know, come over here, add a keyframe. So you can see it gets a little tedious and then you can drag your different sections, make it louder or quieter based on whatever you need. So that's the second method on how you can do that. Now, there is a way to automate that whole process and that is using something called audio ducking. Now, I've got a whole video on that, so I'm not gonna go through it in this video, but I will link to it up here. You can go check out that video and audio ducking is great. How does it work? Well, DaVinci Resolve listens to your speaking track. So in this example right here, it's gonna listen to my speaking track and then it's gonna adjust my music track based on the signal coming from my speaking track. So whenever I speak, it'll dip that music down. If I stop speaking, it'll bring that volume back up. It's pretty sweet, works out really well. And I use it a lot in my videos. And since audio ducking is a little more advanced, you're gonna have to jump into the Fairlight tab, little musical notes here. You're gonna have to jump into here to do it. So once you get your audio level set, this is what you should have, this is what it should sound like. And you should be able to hear the person talking, no problem, as well as your music below it. So let's go ahead and roll the clip. So we're going to take this clip right here. We're going to throw some music behind it, a little background music. But let me just take a minute to tell you about Buy Me A Coffee. If you enjoy this channel, you want to help support the channel, maybe head on over, buy me a coffee. Love me some good coffee. Also, if you're interested in merch, got a little merch down below the video here. We've got some mugs. We've got sweatshirts. We've got t-shirts. So if you want to support the channel that way, I would appreciate that. Check it out down below the video here. And lastly, if you want to help support the channel, use one of the links in the description below to go purchase maybe TubeBuddy. If you're looking to grow your YouTube channel, maybe you need some gear, you want to know what I use, check out the kit links down below. All that helps support the channel. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but helps support the channel here. So thank you guys. And uh, that should be your sample clip here. And that, my friends, is how you set the levels for your music track. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.